Hello guys this is Super Nick do everything and today I'm going to do a commentary out of Peter Animate's rant Sesame Street. This rant is going to suck because Sesame Street is the best show on PBS Kids and it's my favorite show from my childhood and he gave out an invalid reason why he hates the show. And Mario is going to be my character for this commentary and this is my seventh commentary. Now let's start the commentary. Sesame Street? More like Terrible Town. Is that the best insult when you say Sesame Street? More like Terrible Town that sounds like you're making a rant out of Lazy Town even though I like Lazy Town. Oh my god, this show sucks. Correction. This show rocks. This show is about these stupid puppets. They're I not stupid. Other puppets are from Disney's Muppets. That is true. And introduces Elmo who go on failure adventures. More yeah. like awesome adventures. This show needs to teach kids to sing and play. It does teach kids how to sing and play. But I don't think so. El Bruh. Elmo can't speak right. That kind of correct because he says his name when he's making sense sense for an example instead of saying I like this he says Elmo likes this and another example instead of him saying I'm glad to see you he says Elmo's glad to see you even though Elmo is my favorite character from Sesame Street. Just like Hobie. I don't know what you said. And when he speaks in public, he gets arrested by the cops. Ha ha. He deserves it. Toilet's jerk! He's an innocent character. Cookie Monster eats nothing but cookies. That's because his name is Cookie Monster. Man, why would he eat something else? Because if he eats too much cookies, he would get fat. Don't make fun of people's weight. Big Bird wants to be a baby. Because he has his teddy bear and he takes it anywhere. That does not prove that he's a baby besides it's just a TV show for preschoolers. Bert and Ernie are idiots. They're and not idiots. And Ernie wants to be a baby. Because he takes his tub or duck everywhere. Like I said. That does not prove that he's a baby. It's a TV show for preschoolers. Abby Cadaby's voice sounds like a four-year-old and a tiny helpless baby. She is a four-year-old and she's not a tiny helpless baby. And every time she has magic, she puffs up things that everyone loves. Bullshit. <coughs> That's completely bullshit. <coughs> I think it's not bull bleep. <coughs> I think the reason why Oscar lives in the trash can because he is poor, or he forgot to take a shower or a bath. He's not poor in the adventures of Elmo in Grouchland. He has a whole home in the trash can. And no one cares about the other characters. They Whatever. They even have segments. The spin-offs rocks. The first segment is called Bert and Ernie's Adventures. You mean Bert and Ernie's Great Adventures. Bert and Ernie's Adventures? No. More like Dumb and Jerk Stupid and Crazy Misadventure. Was that the best name you ever come up with because that name was pathetic? This segment sucks. Correction. This spin-off rocks. There was another segment called Abby Cadaby's Flying Fairy School. I remember that show. Abby Cadaby's Flying Fairy School? No. More why you dumb elementary school. Was that the best name you ever come up with because that name was pathetic? This segment sucks. Correction. This spin-off rocks. And there was another segment called Elmo's World. My favorite Sesame Street spin-off. Elmo's World. No. More like Crappy's Failure. Was that the best name you ever come up with because that name was pathetic? This segment sucks. This Correction. This spin-off rocks. This show is so popular that Warner Brothers has decided to make their own movie called Follow That Bird. I love that movie. Follow That Bird? No. More like Don't Follow That Bird. This, okay. this movie sucks. Correction. I this movie rocks. And it became more popular that Columbia Pictures has decided to make their another movie called The Adventures of Elmo in Grouchland. The My favorite Sesame Street movie. The Adventures of Elmo in Grouchland? No. More like The Misadventures of Elmo in the Junkyard. Is that the best insult you come up with, bro? This movie sucks. Correction. This movie rocks. The stories are lame. How is the story lame? Stories are lame. The music is boring. The theme song is garbage. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah. Sunny days sweeping up, clouds away. On my way to where the air is sweet. Where the air is sweet. Can you tell me how to get, how to get to Sassy Street? Street. 
The theme song is not bad in my opinion. The acting is stupid. The acting is not bad in my opinion. And the characters are jerks. They They're not jerks. Can you explain why you hate it? Thank God this show got taken off PBS. But here's the bad news. This show has moved to HBO. It did not got removed by PBS and moved to HBO. They got owned by HBO. What? I thought HBO showed some good movies and shows. Not this pile of shit. And you better not be taking this seriously. And also, Elmo has its own late night show called Not Too Late Show. Not I watched that show on HBO Max. Not Too Late Show? No. More Too Late Show. This. Okay. This show sucks. Correction. This show rocks. And this show is an insult to the other late night shows such as The Late Night Show with Jimmy Witkins and Jimmy Kimmel Live. I hope it's not, it's a kid's version of it. Since kids can I watch late night shows they have this and it's from Sesame Street. I hope these two shows get cancelled for good. Do you know who likes this show? Dylan Perot. He told me to put him in this spot. Well I agree with him. But I respect his opinion. No offense. But opinions don't have feelings. And do you know who hates this show? Brendan Barney. He made a rant on this show. Well that was a long time ago even though I still like Brendan Barney. So screw Sesame Street. And screw Let's Films. The films rocks. Super Mario Logan is 457,000 times better than Sesame Street and... Different. What does my favorite YouTuber have to do with my favorite childhood show? Rant. Finally this video cringy rant video is over he gave out invalid reasons why he hates this show. And I hope you guys enjoy it. This is Super Nick Do Everything signing off.